Hey folks, what's going on? Something a little different today. Thursday, is it April 6th? Just waking up, cheers. I'm in the living room of my home. And I thought I'd do some pulls from the A to B section because they're not in the other room so you never get to them. Here's, you know, part of my CD collection. Back at the uh, in the 80s and early 90s, I was way into it. And then in the 2000s, I had a reawakening and, and had sold a lot of vinyl. A lot of sales I do regret, I do. But um, out here, the first part of the, the records, it's pretty clear what I have for me because like right here, is my Beatles. This is all Beatles. This is all Beatles right here. Right, you know, and we just go um, Bebop Deluxe. You know, you just go um, go in um, alphabetical order and who's next? Jeff Beck. Is the camera backwards? Oh well. We keep going. There's some artists in between there, but these are the, the you know my collections. Captain B part. I have most of his stuff. Down here. Here's two. Black Pearl. Kind of a soul rock band. Black Moth Super Rainbow. I really like these guys. Is this some um, colored vinyl? Yeah, this is, this is a tasty one. Um, I don't have a basement, so um, I have the the furnace on, so you can hear it. It's you know it's, it's loud, but um, this is my second house, and I got it on purpose without a basement. I got it on, on purpose without a basement, so we don't worry about the weight of everything and all that. Um, down here is my is my my Bowie, and uh, I do have a bunch of Bowie. I do. Low, Young Americans, several several copies of some of these. Just showing you, right quick. Station to station. I got the hits. There's another colored, colored vinyl version. Colored vinyl version. Got the picture disc. Good old Bowie. I got most of them. We just pulled those right quick. Okay, we put these back. Right next to Bowie is some Boris Pink. I dig Boris. Here's their album Noise. I like that band. So I'll see what happens by just trying to just try to pull and see what, what comes up. Like I said, I'm pretty familiar with this area. What do we have? Barclay James Harvest, like I told you in some past videos. I have some of their albums. Don't hardly ever play them. But I got rid of a bunch of Mike Oldfield records. I kept the first three. So far, these are survivors. They're, uh, I'm hanging on to them. There's a couple old songs there that I really like. I just hardly ever play them. But I just keep them. Oh, I saw a recent... Um, interview with Stephen Wilson from Porcupine Tree where they were talking about records and records collections and um, they asked him about his A's and, and, and they asked him what's your what's your first A is is it aardvark and I don't have an original I wish I did but thanks to uh, Anita in Poland I have this one I think Anita you sent this to me 
reissue of it. Good Prague album. That's the first day. <laughs> mm. A little bleary this morning. Had a superb session with chemicals last night. A lot of forward motion, but hard work. Um, uh, it's um, six people total now. And um, a lot of energy, and so reining it all in and staying focused is a challenge. But the music that's coming out is just really already incredible, so I'm really excited about it. Prepare to do some recording. Okay, what do we got over here? Ooh. What do we got here? Bjork. Kind of a funky looking cover. She does stuff that that uh, just messes with your mind a little bit. This is an interesting color, kind of almost looks like it's luminescent, but it isn't. I have to be in the mood for Bjork anymore. Arise in my senses. This is a single. There's that. Here. What have we got? Oh, I gotta get this covered again, even though it's beat. But um, the Aquarians. This is an album that goes back to my childhood. Again, this is um. There's the proof. My name, <laughs> a couple written on there a couple times. Um, this was a cutout that I was able to get for thirty nine cents. I still remember this because it's one of the first cutouts I ever bought. And I wanted to get something cool. I didn't know what anything anything was. And I liked this cover. And I lucked out. It's um, Brazilian, basically. But it's really good. Um, Bobby Hutcherson and Lynn Blessing are on here. And the uh, Joe Pass is on here. Fran Francisco Aguabella is also on here. So it's studio. It's like a studio date. It's very, very nice. It's to this day. There's my name again on the back. That's what I used to do as a kid. What do you mean? What do I mean? Is one of my favorite songs on here. Still, brightens my day whenever I play it. Okay, I'm gonna keep this short and kind of do an experiment with this because I hardly use the camera on this computer, and it looks like the. Uh, frame is backwards that when you show it it's going to be backwards I'm going to check that out anyway hope you're all doing well and I hope that um, the day goes well for you okay I'll talk to you in a minute